Hello, hello. I wasn't planning on putting makeup on today because mostly doing just heads down work on the computer. And then I realized that there is a, not a meeting, a presentation type thing put on by our department at our work that I really at least need to be visible in, even though I'm not a participant in any way. So I'm going to make myself not look like this. So I've moisturized. Come in with a little primer. You might hear my dishwasher running in the background because I didn't shut the door to this room. There, it's kind of shut. Putting some concealer on my lids. This is the Morphe Filter Effect Concealer, which I use for this purpose pretty much every time I do my makeup. Now I have lots of other things I could use for a base, I always forget. I probably need to rearrange my whole situation here, but as you can see, I share my kids' room, so I have to be pretty careful about what I leave out and what I put away, so. All right, this shirt has a big old grease spot on it. I don't know why I keep putting it on, but it's what we're wearing today. We're gonna use this Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette. I already have a brush that's been pulling brown eyeshadow, which I'm gonna stick with today because I'm just gonna keep it real simple. Since I will only be a face in the crowd versus the face in front of the crowd. I don't have to do a lot. So I came in with the light brown color called Shh. I was using a little the dark brown called Mojo. Just gonna add a little depth. I'm gonna go for it. Let me get this big old flat brush from Sonia Kashuk. Kashuk, Kashuk, Kushuk, Kashuk. I don't know how to say it. I'm taking this color called Bistro. Nope, busted. Which, oddly enough, kind of matches my shirt. It's a little bit darker shade. This was not my intention today, but. And the palette you pick just happens to match your shirt. I guess you go with it. I'm going to try to push that down into my lash line so that I don't need to do eyeliner. In fact, I'm going to come in here with this brush from Moda which is just a, called short round. I'm just gonna use that to take the shadow right down into that lash line. As intended. Boom. I bought a couple Christmases ago, well I guess it would have been a couple of Thanksgivings ago on their Black Friday sale, but like an artistry eye set, I don't use a ton of the brushes out of it, but the ones I have, when I do use them, I like them. I'm just going to come in here and cut to soften. Again, I am a face in the crowd today, so... I'm even less worried about it than I typically would be, which is not very. Mess 
spirit time. L'Oreal Telescopic still. If you've been here before, you know it's the one I'm using right now. I have a tendency to just stick with whatever's working all at once versus jumping around to different types of mascara, even though I do know that different mascaras give different results. Just they're good for such a short amount of time, and I try to only have them open for three months before I toss so if I open one and then I only use it a couple of times and that three months hits I feel kind of obligated to toss it because it's still been contaminated right I'm not going crazy on these lower lashes, just trying to hit them up a bit. I think this look definitely calls for some under eye work. I'm just coming in with that blue busted. Should have waited for my mascara to dry. Too late now. back in with a little bit of the brown just to soften it out a little bit Ta -da. all right i'm gonna stick with what i've been doing which is just a little bit of my matte poreless fit me foundation i'm using natural ivory just a little dib dab Just in my eye area. I'm gonna swipe a little excess up off of my nose or in my forehead here. But really just trying to even out and tone down that under eye area. There. Bright eyed and bushy tail. It's an all matte eye day. I don't have any shimmer on it. Feels weird. Alright, I am going to contain my urge to put shimmer on my eyes. I am thinking about an inner corner highlight, but that would be shimmer. And I am resisting. A bit of powder. You know what? I'm not doing brows today. I'm going to give them a little brush. Brush some of the powder off of them. But I am not gonna mess with filament then. I think I'm gonna go back to this Tarte Amazonian clay today. I need to learn how to contour. I've tried every now and then, but I am too worried about having dark streaks on my face, so I don't use enough, so it doesn't really do anything. My hair is absolutely not fixed right now, but we do need lips today. I'm gonna go neutral. I was gonna use a pinky, but I'm gonna use this Pat McGrath Skin Flex, which is a nice pinky nude with a little bit of shimmer. All right, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, and we did it in less than 10 minutes. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.